Hello Stampers. How are you tonight on this wonderful, gorgeous Wednesday? And it's like spring. Yay. I'm uh, Jennifer Kirk. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator from Guelph, Ontario. And we are going to make this absolutely gorgeous card. Well, I think it's gorgeous. I think it's cute. I love this set. So I'm just getting set up on my iPad. Um, so I can see comments. Hopefully I have some people joining me. If you are joining me, please leave a comment so I know you're here. And uh, I'm not seeing anything yet. So anyway, so um, I am in desperate need of birthday cards. Hey, Krista. Okay, it's working. Yay. I'm in desperate need of birthday cards. Um, I have a lot of birthdays coming up and my stash is low. So I decided to play with this super cute stamp set. It's called Hey Birthday Chick. Um, it is in our January to June mini catalog. And it look at these, like, aren't they just adorable? For those of you that have been um, around stamping up for a while, You'll remember that we had a celebration item a while ago. Hey, Sharon, how are you? Hi, Miriam. Um, we had a celebration stamp set a while ago. This is my old one. But Stamping Up has brought it back. And so these guys coordinate here. So these are now available. Both of them, you can buy both stamp sets um, to customers. So look at, like, just imagine what you can do. But the other amazing thing that Stamping Up did was they brought out dies that coordinate. So look at how fun these are. Like these ones here are the birthday ones and uh, there's a happy birthday which we're going to be using a cute little chick. These are a mess. I should have it on a magnet. Um, lots of scenery, scenes that you can do with them and they coordinate together. So like look at the chicken coop. Isn't that just adorable? Oh love it. So these are both um, you can buy just the dies, you can buy just the stamp sets, you can buy them as bundles. So those are now available to everybody um, on the uh, Stepping Up website. So if you're interested, I'm all messed up here, let me know and I can give you some more information. But they are super cute. So we're going to play with this tonight. Um, we're going to make... Hi Debbie from North Carolina. Wow, I'm sure you have nicer weather than we do, but we've had a gorgeous day up here in Ontario. It's the first day that it's felt like spring and it was sunny and warm so it was exciting it's very exciting that winter is uh is getting close to the end okay so we're gonna make this i'm just gonna change up the colors a little bit this one i did with um magenta um magenta madness which is one of the uh, new ink colors and we're gonna make it in a night and navy so i will go through Everything that we need, I'll put all the measurements and stuff at the bottom of the post once we're done. Um, it may take me a little while to get it up there, but it'll be up there. So card base we're going to use is Knight of Navy, and this is uh, five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And then we're going to use our top layer, and this is Coastal Cabana. And I ran this through the... Um, Painted Textures uh, embossing folder. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see it? Hey, Sandy, how are you? Hope you guys are all having a great day. Um, this is my go-to embossing folder now. I use this all the time. Okay. And then we're taking a piece of DSP, and this is from the Playing With Patterns. This is from the annual catalog. I love this DSP. It is just, I don't know, I just, it's a lot of fun. So we have a piece of this, which is two and seven eighths by four and seven eighths. And then we're just gonna layer that against a piece of Knight of Navy, which is, what is it? Three and one eighth by five and one eighth. Again, I will put all the measurements um, at the bottom of the post so that you don't have to worry about writing all of this down. We need a piece of cardstock for the inside. So this is basic white. Um, four by five and a quarter and then we use the stitch so sweetly dies and just cut out uh, the largest one and I think it was the largest and the second largest one I'll, I'll confirm that um, just cut those out those are for stamping I did some of the fun dies so we'll see what we're gonna do with those 
and then we need a piece of our foam so this is we it comes let me see if i can find it it comes in sheets like this and you just cut out uh whatever size you want and it's just like making your own dimensionals um so it's got sticky tape on both sides and all you do is peel off one side stick it onto whatever size of paper that you want to die cut so i measured this out already and then i would just take this with my die so i'll just do this oh don't lose my dies jen um we would just do this put this on here and take it to our die cut machine our, our stamping cut and emboss and run it through a few times and we end up with this. So now we have a dimensional that we can use and you can see here that I have the happy birthday one now. So that's all we do. Simple, simple. All right, let me put the die away before I lose it. And then we can get stamping. Okay, so because I will be coloring with my blends, I do wanna use Memento ink. Um, just because it's, uh, we don't want it to bleed, right? So I'm going to be using this cute little guy. I really need to clean my blocks. I think I say that every week, don't I? Oh. I don't know about you guys, but this is just one hectic month for me. My work is crazy. All right, so we're going to put that down. And we're going to give him a color with some blends. All right, so I'm gonna use um, So Saffron, and I'm just going to really quickly, you guys will, will um, do this a little bit neater than me, but I, I know you don't wanna sit here and watch me take my time coloring for an hour. So I'm gonna actually turn it around. So I do start with the light color, and I just put color everywhere that I want. Um, so did you guys get out to enjoy this gorgeous weather or well, hopefully you're having gorgeous weather where you are and I'm not just going on and on about it I didn't get out well I did get out I got out to drive kids to and from school but I didn't get to enjoy the weather but the days are getting longer spring is on its way so excited so all I'm doing is going over some of the areas where we would have some shadow and I'm just doing it with the darker So Saffron. And then I'm going to come back in with the bullet end of the light Saffron. And I'm just going to pull the ink. So I'm just coming away in circles. And I'm, it's like I'm just pulling it away so that we're blending it. And we're not going to get a, a definitive line. And you can see when it dries. Because it is alcohol ink. So it will change a little bit of color when it dries. Um, you can see when it dries that it gives you a little bit of shadows. Okay, so that is so saffron. And then I'm going to use the light uh, pumpkin pie for his feet. I'm assuming this is a boy. I don't know. Good big girl. I don't even know how you would tell the gender. All right. Cleaned out your car this afternoon. Oh, that's good. I need to do that. Oh, get, get rid of all the... Uh, um, salt and stuff that's in it and then I'm wondering what color I want to do his hair so we're gonna stick our happy birthday kind of just above that so why don't we do that now I am gonna take out my take a pic I can't speak my take a pic tool um, just to help push out some of the bits inside so they don't come with me but they still will and I'll just have to play with them but I'll see if I can get most of them out before I pull the backing off. And all right, so I'm just going to peel out my happy birthday now. And you see it's got a sticker on the back and this just goes in the bin. And then you do wanna just push out these before you place it down on your card. And I get pieces everywhere stuck to me all right one more there that's pretty good so I just need to get all of these pieces off of me so I can have my fingers back 
and I'm just, oh, I have one stuck in the back. So I'm just going to put the happy birthday right around here. So you guys at the end, gorgeous weather for you, it is. It was gorgeous. How's your renos going, Sandy? Hopefully they're going okay. It's hard living in chaos, eh? All right, so we're just going to take a few of these and I'm just going to position them to see how I like them before I glue them down. Um, and maybe I don't even want the Na Night and Navy ones. Maybe I just want the uh, Coastal Cabana. What do you think? Oops, that one's upside down. Kind of like that. Does that look okay? I think that looks okay, eh? All right, so we're just going to glue those down. I am going to bring my um, silicon mat over just because I don't want to get glue everywhere. And I did open up a new glue thing for you guys, so you don't have to see me uh, pushing and pulling and... And uh, you could put, if you have adhesive sheets, you could put these on the adhesive sheets too. That'll make it a little easier. So you don't want too, too much glue like I'm putting on. You just, a little bit is good. Um, otherwise it'll seep out and make a big mess on your card. And it'll be a little bit harder to get it off. So I'm just going to stick that down. Hopefully I'm on the camera here. Reynolds are fabulous. Oh good, how long are they gonna be going for, Sandy? It's exciting to, uh, so Sandy's getting a new kitchen and a new bathroom. I guess the chaos is worth it in the, in the end. Okay, so I'm just going to stick this down. I know I've moved them a little bit from what I had originally uh, tried to do, but here we go. All right, and... So these chicks are, I, I just love them and they're so happy and they're good for any age. Um, I am doing a Hey Birthday Chick card class. Um, so it's a class that is free with a $60 order or if you purchase one of the bundles from me, um, I do have a host code. I will put all of that details in the bottom but the registration ends on the 14th of March. So you wanna make sure um, that you take advantage of it. And so again, you get uh, kits to make four cards for free with a $60 order. And I'll just mail you those kits. You do have to be in Canada though, unfortunately, um, for me to, to do that with you. Okay, what do I do with my scissors? So then all we're gonna do is just flip this over and we're just gonna cut these guys off. And of course I have glue on the ends so that it's gonna to stick to my scissors. But you know, that's okay. I guess better sticking to my scissors than to my hands. Two to three weeks. That's a long time to go without a kitchen. But I guess you uh, you can go to your daughter's and, and have some food there. <laughs> but it'll be so worth it. That's exciting. I would love to uh, to do renos, but there will not be any renos happening when we have a newborn pup in the house. And that's coming up soon. All right, so there we go. Well, I'm going to have to finish coloring. I didn't even finish coloring. I was trying to decide if I want to do his hair kind of a blue or a green. I think I'm going to do green. So I'm going to use the light uh, Bermuda Bay. Let's see how this looks. I'll probably regret it and probably want to wish I had done the blue. I could do multicolor. He could have blue and green hair. That would be kind of cute. All right. I'm going cross-eyed. <laughs> My eyes are so tired. <laughs> Hopefully I'm in the lines. All right. And now uh, let's just add some color here as well. And I'll bring in the dark of the same, so the dark of the Bermuda Bay, and just go in here, and in here, and then I will take the dark so saffron and color in the candle. There, we're done. That's it.
So we can glue this now on top of here. Oh, I think I'm liking the blue. I don't know. Which one is going to look nicer, the blue or the magenta madness? The magenta madness is so bright and cheery. But this is pretty cool too. Okay, so we can put together the outside. So now it's just a matter of gluing. So we've done all the stamping for the front of the card. And I'm just going to glue that on. I like to use the, the Tombow glue because it gives me a minute to get it straight, especially when I'm on camera because I can't be right on top of it to make sure it's straight, so I have to lift it up to see it. Um, stamp and seal is good too. What's your, what, what adhesive do you guys like the best to use? What breed is it, my puppy? My puppy is, it, he's called a Sprocker Spaniel. So he's a cross between, his dad is a Cocker Spaniel and his mom is a Springer Spaniel. So he's really, really cute. I think he's cute anyway. Uh, the breeder keeps sending us pictures of him. But um, we wanted a dog that is good around water because we're out on our boat uh, a lot. So we needed a dog that would uh, be comfortable on the boat with us so so we landed on the on the spaniels and uh, and we wanted this cross just the the personality traits were were what we were looking for oh I like it what do you guys think do you like it so I we can't wait we get him uh, I, he is cute he is so cute he's just well I mean we've only seen pictures and videos of him and his siblings um, but he looks adorable. He's a brown, so he's they call it liver. He's a liver color. And he's got a little white on his nose and in his head. And his one paw is white. So he's just, oh, he's so cute. I'm sure he's going to be a handful, though. And my other dog, we have a, a Alaskan Malamute. So our other dog is not going to be too happy with us. But that's okay. He'll adjust. All right. What do you guys think? Which one do you like better? The pink or the blue? I like them both, but I kind of like this one. I don't know. All right. So for the inside, we can keep it simple. We can bring in um, and use Night and Navy if we want. Um, I will do that. But you could also just use the Memento if that's all you have is, um, and just keep it all consistent. So I'm just going to put, let's celebrate you on the inside. I would like to get this straight. I use my grid paper um to make sure that i'm stamping somewhat straight so we'll just do let's celebrate you so that's in night of navy let me just clean that i i'm lucky i put so much i just ranked my night of navy so it's really juicy put too much in they're both lovely oh thank you they're so sweet okay and then i'm just going to use this little guy at the bottom look at how adorable he is oh and there's a die to cut him out too um, he's just so sweet. And I'm just going to put him down at the bottom here. We're almost done, guys. You like Tombow too, Krista? I, I do too. I, I like, well, you know, I guess it depends on what I'm doing. Um, so I'm just going to color him in. I should have let it dry a little bit. That's okay. Color him in with the So Saffron and the light pumpkin pie. I gotta concentrate to get it in the lines. How bad is that? <laughs> you can tell it's the end of my day. Um, and I'm gonna do a green. So I'm um, bringing it to bay and. A light night and navy in here and of course if you don't have these colors you don't have to do that but I have them and I might do a little bit of wink on his shell just to you know you need you do need a little bit of glitter right I'm glad my order arrived today because I need a new one of these it's almost out there we go I realized um, 
during my videos that I often don't do the inside. So I, I like to keep my insides pretty simple because I like to write notes to people. Um, the one thing that I, when you put glue on like this on the inside, sometimes you can see it. So I just take the lid off. There's um, a wider here, a wider spot, and I'll just kind of move it around just so that I don't get those clumps showing through when I glue it down. I find it especially happens if I'm putting it on a darker paper. Oh, look at that. I got stuff in there. And then we just stick it down. There we go. Voila. See too. Cute. I like it. I love these stamp sets. Here's another couple. Um, I don't know that I made using it. So you can get, you can see a different, uh, totally different looks to them but but lots of fun lots of fun lots of options so again I am doing a class the other thing that we have um, that is just opening up right now is a butterfly bundle so um, it oh, I don't even have it ready but it, it comes with this gorgeous DSP and amazing dies and a beautiful stamp set and here's another one that I did so the stamp set actually is um, I did a, an emboss resist technique on this one. So those are a couple of the projects that I've been working on. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And um, the little egg is super cute. It is Sandy, eh? He's just adorable. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for joining me. And I hope you guys have an amazing, amazing week and you get out to enjoy the, the beautiful weather. So take care, happy stamping, and we will talk soon. Bye for now.